Morning. This is Arnie Waters here at Waters Capital in Boston, Massachusetts. We're hoping you're having a fabulous day. We need to be aware of certain things. I keep talking about these things because they don't change. The South Korean government, South Korean Central Bank, just announced plans to buy gold. This is the first time this bank has bought gold since 1997, 1998. One of our themes in the last two or three weeks has been central banks buying gold, not only in this quarter, but in the last quarter of the year as well. This is going to provide a substantial element of demand into the gold equation. We want to also remind you about supply. Now, we spoke last week about the South African nationalization of a mine. We spoke also about the uh, South African elite fraud squad investing, investigating uh, questionable mining license issuance by the Zuma administration. Uh, what this does is point out the other problem in South Africa and other places with older mines. The quality of the ore is decreasing. What this means is people are having to dr drill deeper and therefore more dangerously. When we couple this with mining strikes, and government intransigence in a number of countries, that means our supply is threatened. There are no new gold mines coming online before 2015 or 2016. So when we see gold at 20, excuse me, at uh, 1636 and going up from there, we see this as a normal reflection of supply and demand. And we add to this the uh, despair in the United States economy and the worldwide chill that is a result of that, we see a big opportunity for gold buyers. We're also seeing that gold is beginning to, is approaching the price of platinum. We'll make a different call uh, when we get to platinum uh, parity. But just keep in mind, because we were asked this question, that platinum is a very thin market. Gold's a very big market for a metal. And so we want to stay in gold because that gives us greater liquidity. Now, all of this means that the recent uh, debt ceiling rise, which is truly a great thing, uh, is not going to solve any of our problems long term in the United States. Eight years of profligate spending and tax cuts to benefit the ruling class resulted in the mess that was created when Obama took office which the Bush administration caused. Now Obama's cleaning up that mess, and it's taking longer than anyone expected. Well, too bad. The crisis was such that the world as we know it could have disappeared if Obama and uh, other folk hadn't done the right thing in propping up our banks and investment houses. So we're paying some prices for that, but we're paying the, also the price because when uh, the Clinton left office, we had a surplus. Now, after eight years of Bush, we have a tremendous deficit, which has grown bigger under Obama, but essentially he's had to do what he's had to do in order to preserve our economic system. So this is Arnie Waters. Keep buying gold, keep buying Molly Corp, keep looking at rare earths, and have a great day. Aim for the ice flows, not the open water.